Ambassador Fujisaki, Professor Patterson, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me to speak at this distinguished forum. I am Hayashi Yoshimasa, Japanese Minister for Foreign Affairs. It is a privilege for me to be a part of the Shinzo Abe Conference, which honors the late Prime Minister Abe and his legacy. Today, we find ourselves at history's turning point. Russia's aggression against Ukraine has threatened the very foundation of the international order. Not only do we face these unilateral attempts to change the status quo by force, but we also face the opaque and unfair use of economic influence to realize one's own strategic interest. Furthermore, astounding advancements in AI and the global push for digitalization require us to make a transformation. When I received your invitation to this forum, I asked myself, what kind of laws are expected of Japan and the US in our ongoing collaborative efforts to address these new challenges? First, maintaining and developing an open, rules-based, stable international economic order is extremely important for Japan, a nation that has prospered under free trade. The expansion of a free and fair economic sphere would drive economic prosperity while also serving a long-term national security cause, especially in the Indo-Pacific region. The late Prime Minister Abe understood this better than anyone. And Japan remains fully committed to advancing the TPP and still strongly hopes for the early return of the U.S. Moreover, Japan attaches importance to the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework launched here in Tokyo last May. Japan is determined to take the lead in negotiating with our IPEF partners toward materializing swift, tangible benefits. Japan and the U.S. share the common understanding that we must work together with other like-minded countries to maintain and develop this rules-based international order and secure economic security. The first Economic 2 plus 2, which we held in July of last year, was born out of this shared vision. In the digital sphere, Japan and the U.S. reaffirmed our intention to continue promoting the concept of data-free flow with trust, another one of former Prime Minister Abe's legacies, at this January Japan-US summit meeting. Together, we will lead the effort to establish common rules for data distribution within multilateral initiatives. Second, it is also crucial to make ourselves and our like-minded partners more resilient. Japan will continue to cooperate with the U.S. on the protection and promotion of critical and emerging technologies, including semiconductors, biotechnologies, quantum, and AI. In fact, we are already witnessing numerous joint research and development projects in cutting-edge fields between our two nations. This year, Japan holds the G7 presidency just as the United States takes on its role as APEC chair. Together, we will lead discussions and take action. In the words of our late Prime Minister, Japan will continue to be one of the foremost open, democratic, and law-abiding contributors to peace and flows in the world. I wish you all a fruitful and successful discussion in this forum.